Compass FM with Steve. In the studio today, we welcome for the very first uh, time, we have uh, Richard Chambers from Pest Free Wine Makerere. Morena, good morning. How are you, Richard? Good morning. Good and well, thanks, Steph. Nice to have you into Compass FM. So I thought we'd start off with a, a question first. Pest Free Wine Makerere, what is it all about? What is Pest Free? Well, people might have heard about Pest Free 2050, which is a um, sort of a dream, perhaps, or a goal brought in by the national government about 10 years ago. And so we're linking up with that um, to try and get, sort of bring people together, I suppose, in Waimakariri. There's a, a range of people out there trapping in their backyards or on the rivers and that sort of thing. So we're just wanting to try and help them where we can and help start up new groups where we can. Just if anyone's got an idea, they can come to us and we've... Um, We'll maybe be able to provide traps or help get a group started. So, Richard, what would be um, decided as a pest? What would you describe as a pest? The pest, for this national goal, they decided to go for rats, possums, and the mustelids, which are your stoats and weasels. Oh, I was going to ask you, and, what on earth is a mustelid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's what your class as a pet. And a that, pest, that yeah. in itself is a big enough goal, but I yeah. suppose people look at other things like rabbits and um, that sort of thing, which is a little bit outside our scope, but mm. um, anything you know, people have a thought about, we might yeah. better offer advice or a bit of help. And I can imagine it um, uh, can be really exceptionally devastating for the birds that nest on our braided Canterbury rivers. I mean, they've got enough, enough of a battle with uh, human uh, intervention mm. sometimes and then pests on top of that as well. Yeah, no, it is a big battle and the, the um, fantastic people down at the um, river doing all their trap lines, they've got a big job on their hands yeah. and, and the trouble they have is that even if one rat is around, that can cause damage. They've really got to try and get it down close to zero on the rivers. Oh, wow. Because those birds are just, they're pretty fragile nesters. Yeah. Anything that, will disturb them. That's a big task, isn't it, Richard? Mm. Essentially. Hey, so who, who is Pest Free Waimakere? Who makes up this amazing organisation? Well, it's sort of just me to some extent, but yep. we've got um, a few people, council is providing big support yep. it's, it's really a council initiative and um, but the council district council put in an application and uh, with Silverstream Reserve have oh, got a, a great group of volunteers down there doing a lot of trapping and they got some lotteries funding so thanks to lotteries for that mm. um, and that enabled them to get started and then the district council managed to direct a little bit of money our way as well and so it's kind of evolving at the moment it's very new yeah and um, it's kind of where there's where people are interested. That's where we will go at the moment. I think the key thing is, um, I suppose for some people it must feel like an overwhelming task, right? But I would imagine um, just every little bit really does help make. You know, it, it, it's a small difference, but it's probably uh, helping with the bigger picture, right? It does. It all adds up. And I think people picture trapping. You know, you've got to know how to recognise a possum sign and a rat run and and all yeah. these different things but what we try and do is make it really simple we've got a little suite of traps we've got a, a rat a possum and a mustelid trap very basic that we use and we can say just as long as you put them in, out in a certain way you don't have to really know anything the, oh, the big thing is just being able to put that little bit of effort into checking it whether it's in your backyard mm. in the local reserve yeah um, wherever you happen to be well I'm so pleased you came in Richard because do you know what I had in my backyard uh, not that long ago that my dog was trying to climb the tree to go and see and it was big and fluffy <laughs> I literally had yes. a possum, and and I live in, in a reasonably built up area. I live in Woodend, and I was wondering what my dog mm. was going crook about, and I thought, please don't let it be a hedgehog because she does chase those. Um, but it was a possum at mm. my tree, and I went, I don't know what to do. So I could essentially contact Pest Free Waimakariri for some advice, or um, you could help possibly that's right. with that. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. Yep, no, we've, we've um, got a small library of traps. So particularly with the possums, yeah, like it's often just one or two possums on your property. So there's little point going out and buying a trap for yourself sure but we can lend you one for a few weeks yeah. six weeks whatever yeah. and if you catch those possums then that's probably all the possums in, in your you'll see you know, perfect uh, well I now know who to contact because uh, it made an appearance and then disappeared and then made another appearance so it's it's bopping around to Woodend at the moment some, someone's garden will have <laughs> yeah, it at the moment someone, no, no. <laughs> uh, it tends to move away from the dogs uh, thankfully mm. uh, so I'm really excited because you've got a photo competition coming up can you tell us about why a photo competition well we, we um, the suggestion came to us and we're very grateful for it 
It's it's a way of um, getting the word out there that we exist. We're as I say, we're very new. We want people to know we're here, and we thought it'd be great fun to do this over the summer school holidays. Um, young people, schools out. Yeah. Um, everyone's got a phone with a camera on it, so you can be out there taking photos. And if you see something, um, we're focusing on the native. Okay. Um, so native birds in particular, but you know. If you've got a nice photo of anything, we'd love to see it. But it's just to, to get you thinking about nature. We want people out there enjoying the reserves, looking around their backyard, seeing what they've got. Mm. And um, just a, a fun thing to do, really. Yeah. So whether it's a bird, an insect, a lizard, the fish, a, a close-up of a bee, I don't know. Um, there's lots of options, right? Yep. Yeah, just getting out yeah, there. Um, right. So how would we um, enter? So what's the best place to go and enter this really cool photo competition? If you um, go to our website, pestrywaimakariri.org forward slash photo comp, mm-hmm. and um You'll find a form there you can fill in. Yeah. Very, very simple form. Even I managed to do it. Oh, good job. And um, you can upload up to three photos. So if you think you've got three nice photos, mm-hmm. you can put them up. Yeah. And then at the end of January, we're going to have, we've got a little panel of three judges who are going to look at all these and pick some winners. So there's, there's two categories. Uh, one is for under 15 mm-hmm. and the other is just an open open category oh so, that sounds um, like me Richard I could possibly enter that could I you should oh yeah you it's should. really exciting yeah. um, so what are some of the prizes tell us about the prizes the prizes we've got Willow Bank has um, given us a couple of family passes mm-hmm. and we've got Cameo Fine Arts and Rangiora here has uh, um, kindly said they'll frame the winning with the winning photos oh, for fantastic. us fantastic so that's that's a really nice one. Um, and this Waimakari District Council is offering some family pool passes. And uh, a book on the and Zealandia Pest Free Sanctuary as lovely, well too. Lovely book. Yep, yeah. yep. That sanctuary has done what we want to see happen around here where the, the bird life in Wellington that that book talks about now yeah. is, is quite something. It would just be so mm. lovely to see, uh, you know, more tuis and more birds coming back into the district, wouldn't it? Will be. It would be yeah. really nice. Yeah. Hey, Richard Chambers from Pest Free Wamekiriri, it's been a pleasure having you come into Compass FM. Make sure, folks, you head over to the uh, Facebook page as well. We have shared it on ours too. PestFreeWamekiriri.org is their website. Grab your entry form and get out there and get clicking. Thank you so much, Richard. That was awesome. Thank you. Compass FM 89.4.